Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys on the expression settings inside of Vigna. Now, I have made a tutorial before on how to set up, um, like, expression hotkeys. So if you want to sort of act like VC Face's expression hotkeys with the whole toggle system, you can check out that other tutorial. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be more specific about... Basically, um, disabling the eye blink or disabling mouth blinks uh, because there are some expressions, right? Let's say, for example, you have the joy expression, right? And you see how with my model, I was able to make it where no matter how many times I blink, and I'm blinking right now, the eyes will not clip, basically. So, how did I do that? Um, well, basically... Um, it's all about the expression thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go into settings here, right? And we're going to go into expressions. This is basically where you are going to basically do that. And again, Suvi also has her own tutorial. I highly recommend check that out if you want to have a better understanding of these sayings a bit more. But this tutorial, um, I'll be a little bit more specific about that. So as you can see here, I have different expressions here already. Just wanted to show you and then I'll show you how to kind of like make it from scratch. So let's say, for example, the joy expression here, right? And again, cop you can copy these express uh, the sayings here. But do keep in mind, though, it depends on the tracking you're using. So if you're using AR kit, you're going to have to go based off the AR kit blend shape names. Uh, if you don't know what they are, I'll link them in the description on the AR kit blend shape names. But if you're webcam, then at least you'll have very few blend shapes to worry about basically it depends on your model and your tracking uh, preferences basically but basically what you'll do is that in blend shape conditions blend shape conditions means if a blend shape is active at a certain value so the joy expression if the joy expression has the values of a hundred so I set both of them to a hundred so if it's a hundred it's going to activate the output values basically if I have set this to let's say zero then it'll be of course the entire thing or if I set this to where it's at 80 percent like 80 up to 90 for instance you can set it to basically that as well if you want for my case I've set it up to like th that and it works perfectly fine with me basically um whichever but basically, um, once you set up your expression here, let's say, you know, joy or maybe a different expression, maybe angry, you don't want to blink on angry. Um, basically, what you're going to do here is uh, just focus on this like one part here. You're going to make sure this is set to, you know, set value. If you want to multiply, meaning if you want a certain blend shape to stretch more, you would probably want to set that to multiply instead if you want to like add some stretching. But I said to set value because uh, we're saying a value where basically we want the blink to be set to zero when this blend shape is active, basically. So for my blend shape here, for instance, and again, it was AR kit, you're going to have to add a lot of blend shapes because uh, this is done manually, unlike VC face, which VC face is kind of already pre-done. For VN9, you're gonna have to set this up manually, basically. So basically, um, here, you'll set it to like eye blink or eye blink left, eye blink right, eye wide left, whichever blend shape you want to set to zero and you're going to set the value to zero basically and then you'll set the multiplier zero and the min value to zero basically everything's zero except the max value the max value will just be what it is but even then though um what mainly you're concerned about is the value here this value one this has to be zero because this will actually make it not active so just wanted to kind of show you the overall structure on how you can disable blinks or not just blinks it could just be any mouse movement if you want to disable or even eyebrow again any blend shape basically you can disable it here now i have basically the whole system here basically um i even have neutral here as well where for neutral i have it where uh, which I'll have to fix some stuff with it, but basically I have it where, um, for certain expressions I have it where it's set to 100, that way it doesn't glitch out. So if by any chance you set joy to disable your blinks, but when you untoggle it for some reason it doesn't work out, try adding the neutral blend shape and see if that can probably help you out. Um, so, you know, set the, for the neutral, you know, set the values to 100 basically and see if that helps you out. Uh, but again, it really just depends on how you set up your whole expression system. Again, I would recommend check out my other tutorial on how to set up the expression hotkey similar to VC face uh, since that should hopefully help you out on getting it so the expression toggles will actually function and not glitch out. 
Um, so you can still have basically this, but it'll actually work a bit more strongly, uh, basically. So besides that, I'm going to show you how to do basically this from scratch, uh, just to show you. So let's say, for example, we have my, um, let's say, for example, my derp expression. Let me go and find that. So for my derp expression, um, I didn't bother to fix this, uh, but for this case, I have it where for my derp, I don't want the eyes to move at all. And maybe I want to disable the blinking as well. So as you can see, like there are some weird clipping when I move my eyes around and that's not what I want. And for your case, it could be disable blink, disable eyebrow, disable mouse, whichever it is, just know the blend shape. In case you don't know what blend shape it is, if you're using um, AR kit, just go to the monitor right here basically and then just scroll down and find which values are moving the most. Like, take your time looking at it, but basically the the air kit blend chip should be listed here. Um, and it'll let you know. If by any chance you don't use AR kit, then look for the webcam relay blend chip, which should be on the top. Like, for example, um, a -i -u -e -o, and the blinking and all that. That should pretty much be the main one for simplified webcam. Like, if you're just, um, basically if you're a Roy model freshly exported, you will probably look for the blend shape. But if you use HANA tool or if you made your own air kit blend shapes, then it'll be the air kit ones now um now that you at least know you know this is where you'll find the blend shape you'll hunt down which one and in case you're wondering also uh let's say for example there is a particular action let's say like let's say i'm looking to this way and i see the eye clipping but i want it to be frozen if you're an iphone user just go ahead pose your face exactly to how you want it and then just turn off your iphone just turn it off um, which is the left side, you know, it should be like the right button on your phone and basically you can have like a sort of freeze pose on the issue basically if that's what you were looking for. For webcam, um, basically I would just say turn off your webcam or cover your webcam real quickly to ch kind of just pose the model um, so that way you can sort of debug it easily. So. Um, Besides that, um, now let's go ahead and make it so for the derp eyes, the eyes don't move. So, and also you can check the values here for reference to make sure like whichever values are more active basically, whichever is closest to 100 or something like that, you'll be able to disable it. So, we're going to create a new expression. So, click on add expression and name it to whatever you want basically. I'll name mine derpy, but you can name it joy or whatever the heck. For the blend shape conditions, what we want is that we want to add here. For my case, I'm going to name this Derpy and I'm going to set the min and max value to 100. But for your case, it could be joy or um, it could be angry, just some blend shape, whichever is the main blend shape for this area. Now, as for output values, what we're going to do is we're going to add one. Now, it'll basically just be this. For my case, I want to have it where I look up left will be the one that'll be set to zero. That's what I want. So I want the start off with the look blend shape, basically. So I will set that to be zero on everything except for the max value here. Now, if you want to add some smoothness, of course, I'll say, so let's say you're disabling your blinking or something like that, uh, you can have it where you can set it to a very small value like this one, so it can be smooth, depending, but don't try to go too extreme like 12, it'll go too slow. I usually put mine 0 or 0 0.08, um, depending on what, you know, depending on the smoothness I set it to. And basically, go ahead and set this also to the other um, one here and let's say I'll disable my blinking as well so I blink left um, I blink left and then we'll set these to zero basically 100 and then let's say I also want my mouse to not open as much so let's just say an example you're there's a lot of mouse blend shapes keep that in mind but let's say jaw open I don't want that to be um, active either. I want that to be set to zero. I can do that also. Just an example. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my iPhone and as you can see um, my mouse doesn't open as much. See? Uh, there is a mouse funnel of course but I can also disable the mouse funnel by just doing this. Mouse funnel and set that to zero. 
And pretty much though, as you can see, it makes my mouse very limited basically. Um, of course, you know, if you want your mouse entirely not moving at all, you can set up more blend shapes so it doesn't move at all. Uh, but otherwise though, um, you know, this is a way to disable the mouse and you can even disable the blinking. So if I want the eye to not blink anymore, the right eye, I just go eye, blink, right, um, and there you go, see? Pretty much, pretty much that basically. You can set smoothness, whichever you want, but that's basically how you do it. See, I can't blink anymore. Can't blink, can't, hardly can move my mouse. And let's say if I want my eyebrows to not work anymore, then I can have it be brow, inner, up, I can't really move my eyebrows at, uh, up as much. Um, I can even, again, another example, brow down left, and I'm kind of just ignoring putting in the values because it's working anyways. Right. See? Now my eyebrows hardly move, basically. So pretty much, that is basically how you would do it on limiting the blend shapes. And then, of course, if I disable it, then I have my mouse moving perfectly fine um, and all that. Wah. Uh, but of course, if I have the derp face, it will not work basically. Just like that, basically. Ta-da! Um, so that's pretty much in a nutshell how you will disable any eye blinking, mouse movement, or eyebrow. Kind of like VC face, but for Vignon instead. And again, uh, what's really powerful about this is that you can go pretty extreme with this. Uh, if you have like certain stuff, like for instance, uh, whenever I have my angry emote, I don't have to have the entire mouse be disabled. I can still like, um, I can basically still have my mouse moving, but it doesn't frown any further. So it adds more restriction, preventing some mouse clipping and all that. So it's really good. I highly recommend definitely utilize this setting. It can be a little finicky at times depending on what you're trying to achieve, but this should at least give you a bit of some understanding on how to get things working. And I hope that this tutorial helps you out on how to disable eye blinking, eyebrow blinking, or I guess blinking, um, basically eyebrow, eyes, and mouse movement depending on the person. Her expression and again if by any chance you are having issues with this I highly recommend please check out my other tutorial on how to basically set up hotkeys that are similar to VC phase but for Vignon uh, that way um, you could probably have like a much more smoother setup in case like this thing kind of freaks out a bit depending on how you're setting it up um, and also, I definitely recommend checking out Suvadrail's tutorial as well um, regarding the expression thing. She goes over how to, instead of like doing this specifically on disabling certain blend shapes, she goes over how to enable. So if you're trying to um, achieve something like VT Faces expression detection, but for AR kit, then definitely something like this, you can definitely achieve that. But either way though, hope that helps you out. Have a lovely day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!